Uh, Sarah, this is an enormous victory for Orban. I know that the final results are not yet in, but you can already see it. He got 53% of the counted vote until now. It's uh, his biggest victory in four elections. It's the fourth time that he is elected. And I think this is uh, an underwriting of his uh, policies, uh, of, of his nationalistic uh, policies. You know that uh, he got in big trouble with the European Union because of his lack of uh, accepting uh, uh, refugees from the Middle East and that he was highly criticized for what was called undemocratic measures against the juridical system and the media. But apparently the Hungarian people like it because let's make no mistake about it. This was a free and democratic election. People were free to vote from whoever they wanted. And there was a very wide coalition against him from left to center, even to right, of uh, politicians trying to unseat him, and they didn't succeed. So it showed that Auburn is extremely, extremely powerful in his country, and that the voters of Hungary have also endorsed his policy towards the drama between Ukraine, the war between Ukraine and Russia. And Avi, you talk about his nationalistic policy, but the opposition, on the other hand, has called Orban the Hungarian Putin and then complained also that the Fidesz party had isolated Hungary from the European mainstream, also from consensual democracy, fairness and decency. He also said that uh, they won, well, the opposition party said that they won because of propaganda and not because of honour and respect. What's your stance on that statement? Look, yeah, it, it is, of course, true that uh, Orban has very strong ties to Vladimir Putin. Uh, and, it, uh, and he has maintained uh, this uh, very close ties during all the years. Though it must be said that since the war between Ukraine and Russia erupted, he has kept his distance. He has adopted a position, I think I could say a position of neutrality for example, not letting arms get into Ukraine from Hungarian territory, for example. As far as his difficulties with the European Union is concerned, this is a very interesting point because the base of this difficulty was his non-willingness to accept refugees from the Middle East. But on the other hand now, he has opened his doors to refugees from Ukraine. And there are between 250,000 and 300,000 Ukrainian refugees now in Hungary, uh, getting help and getting care, etc., etc. And today, because of the situation in Ukraine, his relationship with the European Union is better, just like it happened with Poland, with also strained relationship with the European Union and because of what's going on now in Ukraine and the war and Putin, Putin standing, today he is considered a partner by the European Union, although they would have preferred maybe to see somebody else. But this is what the Hungarian people wanted. All right there. Thank you very much, Avi Pazner there, the former Israeli ambassador to France and Italy joining us from Thank Tel Aviv. You Thank you so much for your time as always.